Hello and welcome to 716 Talbot Drive, Kettering, Ohio. My name is John Murray with the murraygroup.biz of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and I'll be your host. Here I'm standing out in front of this home. We're walking towards the driveway now. The first thing I wanted to point out with this home, gorgeous curb appeal, beautiful Cape Cod. The location on this home cannot be beat. Location, location, location. Just down the street, we have Kettering Elementary School, Kettering Middle School, Kettering High School, the Frey's Pavilion, Lincoln Park, and Winslow Park. The police station is right down the street. This is smack dab in the heart of Kettering. Cannot find a better location for the money in Kettering. Great home, great location, oversized driveway, parking pad on the side here, nice backyard. Let's go take a look at the backyard. And after the backyard, I'll meet you in the front door and we'll take a look. All right, so here I just walked through the side gate and we have a very nice backyard here. Good sized patio with a canopy here and then deep backyard. Some nice mature trees. Large storage shed to the rear of the property. It kind of pies back here. Fantastic backyard, perfect place for the fire pit. Just sit back, relax with a nice cocktail, and enjoy the outdoors. And more than likely, you can probably hear the music from the Fray's Pavilion out here. Next, I'll meet you inside. All right, so here I just walked to the front door. Immediately to our left is our dining area that floats in the kitchen, out of this world kitchen. I will show that to you here in a minute. But nice open floor plan flowing into the living room. And yes, this is a wood burning fireplace, could easily be converted to gas. Owners have not used this fireplace in years, but it is believed to work. All the windows in here have been updated. So those are all energy efficient windows. These two uh, louvered bifold doors here go up to the second floor. We have two bedrooms and a study on the second floor. Check out this kitchen here. Gorgeous. Looks like a Corian type countertop, maple cabinets, stainless steel appliances for the most part, Samsung, microwave, a mana fridge, all of the appliances stay. We have a Whirlpool, this is a black dishwasher. This has all been remodeled. Gorgeous floor in here. Brings together the countertops. Nice pantry cabinet in here. Very tastefully done. This door here leads us out to our garage. This is an attached garage. And this takes us down to the basement. We'll check that out here momentarily. Kitchen sink overlooks the front yard in this neighborhood. You know, like I said, we're close to the Frays. Lincoln Park, Winslow Park. The middle school, the elementary school, the high school, just great location. You'll see kids and dogs playing outside pretty much all day long in this neighborhood. We'll call this bedroom number one. This is on the back left of the home if you're looking at it from the street. This window over here would be overlooking the backyard and this window here would overlook the patio area. Good sized bedroom here. Really all of the bedrooms are good sized. The full bathroom here, this does have a shower tub in here. Tiled walls, and this looks like a small door. This is a huge, huge linen closet. This runs all the way back to this wall, so you can put a ton of stuff in there. Bedroom number two, this is a huge room here. Uh, many people will use this one as the master instead of the upstairs bedroom. But we have one really good sized bedroom upstairs as well. This is on the back right of the home. If you're looking at it from the street, that will overlook the side yard. This will overlook the backyard. And I do believe there are wood floors underneath this carpet as well, I believe. Next, I'll meet you upstairs. All right, so here I just walked to the top of the stairs. Immediately to our left is a huge closet. And that's one thing nice about these Cape Cod houses. Tons of storage up here. Look at all of this. And this is all two by six floors in here. Plenty of room. All knotty pine up here on the second floor. And look at this sliding closet here. This does have lights on the inside of the closet here. Those LED lights, and these are sliding doors. Comes down the hallway, and this opens up into a nice study area. This is what we're calling this right here, the study. And this is all knotty pine. This is not paneling. This is solid wood walls. Then up here, we're gonna call this bedroom number three. Very cute room up here. Kind of much has a cabin feel up here with kind of a rustic feel with the knotty pine up here. 
And then the dormer affords quite a bit of space up here. And there is a closet immediately to our right upon here. And then built-in shelves on either side of the bed here. Now we do have a true four bedroom home here. This walks over and this is a good sized room. This bumps out, boom, way over to this side. We do have a closet right here, double closet. All knotty pine up here. Windows have been updated. And again, much has the cabin feel up here. All of the vaulted ceilings. It's kind of like you're on a Tennessee ranch down or Tennessee cabin down in Gatlinburg. So fantastic. We got two bedrooms and a study up here. Next, let's go check out that basement. Perfect place to put your pool table. I'll meet you downstairs. All right, so here just came down the stairs and we'll walk right into our rec room. And my goodness, what a perfect place for a pool table. You have one beam over there, but plenty of space. These cabinets over here can stay with the property if you need them, or you can open this up. Put a nice rec room in here, theater room, all kinds of possibilities. Basement is semi-finished. Really, it's mostly finished. What I'm backing into right now is a storage room or just a little peninsula off of the rec room. I'm thinking perfect place for the wet bar down here, potentially. Great space in here. And this actually loops around. There's an under the cabinet, excuse me, under the stairs storage right here. And this does loop around here into our workshop and utility room and storage room. So great space down here. This door that we're gonna to walk to right now is another storage room. Our water heater is also housed in here. Open up this door. You see we have our gas water heater and then plenty of place to put the boxes. Cannot live without storage space. That's the nice thing about a basement. And what a fantastic rec area. All kinds of possibilities down here. Now wait till you see this room. Good sized rec room here. Wait till you see this workshop and utility room. Boom. Look at all this space in here. Plenty of room for shelves and storage. Got the built-in workbench that stays. All kinds of possibilities in here, whether you need the workshop or just additional storage. And then check out the utility room. Washer and dryer do stay with the home. And this is a Maytag dryer and a, or excuse me, Maytag washer and a Whirlpool washing machine. Perfect spot to put the chest freezer. And here's our carrier weather maker furnace basement if you've noticed you might not have noticed i'll show you one spot basement has been professionally waterproofed at one point in time uh, i'll come over here where you can see here this is a perimeter drain so they actually cut up the concrete put a perforated tile in there and that all runs to a sump pump which was over in the storage room where we saw and this is a panel just to prevent the basement from leaking so right now this basement is bone dry that's a very expensive waterproofing system that was done so if this is not to your liking down here hey it's already been waterproofed have at it make it your own put that wet bar put the dartboard area over there you're ready to go next i'll meet you upstairs for a few closing statements so thanks for watching our video of this home on talbot in kettering ohio right in the heart of kettering cannot beat the location just right down the street from the phrase lincoln park Winsler Park, the elementary school, middle school, high school, Trader Joe's, B-dubs, Kroger, cannot beat the location. If you have any questions or you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is John Murray with the John Murray Group of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I can be reached at area code 937-654-7355 or by email that is John J O N at buywithjohn.com. That's B-U-I-W-I-T-H-J-O-N.com. Welcome home. Welcome to the neighborhood. And I look forward to talking to you.